a road bike or a TT bike. Hey guys, working that chalk and Jason here. And as I mentioned, today we'll be talking about bikes. I'm not gonna go into full detail about like the group sets, the bars, the seats, the pedal, the wheels, and all that. Today I'm gonna be talking generally about whether you should get a road bike or a TT bike. Now, before I go into telling you guys whether you should get a road bike or a TT bike, just letting you know this is all my opinion on what I should have done and maybe this will be helpful for you guys. Now, before we talk about road bike and TT bike and all the other bikes, of course there are more than two bikes. Let's talk about what is a road bike and a TT bike. First, what is a road bike? Road bike is used to describe bicycles built for traveling at speed on paved roads. Some sources use the term to mean racing bicycle. Okay, then what is a TT bike? Time trial bicycle is a racing bicycle designed for use in an individual or team time trial race on roads. Since the cyclist in time trial is not permitted to draft behind other cyclists, reducing aerodynamic drags of the bicycle and rider is crucial. For some of you guys who just got into cycling or in triathlon, you might not know what drafting means. Now, drafting means when a cyclist is right behind another cyclist, just do this. Riding together. Now, this cyclist who's behind this cyclist is drafting. And when they're drafting, they're getting less air resistance. So, for time trial bicycles, that's why the way the TT bike was designed is different. Now, by definition and by reviewing the pictures from before, we know what bike is what and how it looks like. But it still doesn't answer the question what bike I should have gotten first. Now here's a little tip. If you're curious and just getting into the sport of triathlon and you don't want to break a bank, I recommend just using any kind of bike you have on hand. Whether it be your old bike, your sister's bike, your dad's bike, your mom's bike, or your friend's bike, or just borrow a bike. Or you could even rent a bike from a bike shop. Do not spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to get a brand new bike when you are just a curious fellow getting into the sport of triathlon. Also, you don't want to buy an entry level bike for thousands of dollars because two years later, it's gonna be worth nothing. If you want to buy a bike, I recommend you get a used bike with good group sets and components on the bike for a lot less. And then ride it, ride it, ride it, and then you could do an upgrade one to two years later. And if you're not a fellow who wants to use other people's item and they got a lot of dough to buy a new bike, then yeah, get a new bike. I also recommend you look into which sport you wanna get into whether it be just cycling or triathlon. If triathlon is not your goal, then getting a regular road bike will be perfect. But if you are thinking of converting the road bike to a TT back later by slapping on aero bars, then it's a no-no. And the reason is because the geometry is very different from a road bike and a TT bike. And if triathlon is your main goal, then get yourself a TT bike. It only makes sense that you're riding a TT bike in an Ironman or any kind of triathlon event just because it is a longer distance and you can't draft behind others and you want to decrease aerodynamic drag so that you could go faster. If only someone told me in the beginning, then I wouldn't have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on an entry level bike only to ride it for a couple years and upgrade to my new Canyon Speed Max. Now you've been told, so don't make the same mistake I did when I first got into triathlon. <laughs> Tip of the day. If you plan to go group riding with a TT bike, there are a couple things that you should not do. First, don't go into aero position when you are in the middle of the pack. Two, keep your hands near the brakes at all times in case of sudden stops or slowing down. Three, go into the front of the pack if you want to get into aero position. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you are getting to triathlon, like I said, um, do be careful and think a lot about whether what kind of bike you want to get because bike is one of the equipments that is most expensive for you guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you guys have um, helmet problems or issues because you have a round head, check out the video right here and it will explain about what kind of helmet will be helpful for you. Alright guys, see you guys later.